in this presentation I'm going to show you how to put a text box on a PowerPoint slide that will allow you to type on the slide even when you're in presentation mode. Oftentimes people want to be able to actually type something when they're playing a game in PowerPoint or using a screen uh, when you're presenting it and this will show you how you can do that. I'm using PowerPoint version 2007. In version 2007, you're going to need to activate the Developer tab. Now, the Developer tab is right here, but it has to be activated because it's not by de by default. It's turned off. So I'm going to come over to the circle on the far left and pull down and choose PowerPoint Options. PowerPoint Options. Underneath the very first link for popular is a tab, a checkbox that says show developer tab in ribbon. I'm going to put a check in that box. Show developer tab in the ribbon. And then I'm going to click OK. This will now give me the developer tab up here that I can click on when I'm in PowerPoint. Now if you're using PowerPoint 2010, it's a very similar operation. You're just gonna go to the file menu instead of the circle and you're gonna choose options and that's, it's called Customize Ribbon and then you'll choose Developer. So after you bring up the Developer tab, what you're gonna do is you'll notice here you have some controls that allow you to put different control boxes onto your screen. And we could talk about a lot of these, but we'll save those for other tutorials. This one I'm gonna talk about is just the text box which is the second one in the first uh, row at the top. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click and simply drag out a box on my screen here. It actually doesn't have to be very big and I'm going to choose that there. Now what I've done is created a text box here but what's interesting is you cannot type on this text box when you're actually in edit mode which is what we're in right now. The only time you can actually put stuff into this text box is when you are in presentation mode. So what I'm going to do first is just set up here a little uh, a little text options for us. I'm going to right click on my text box that I just inserted and I'm going to choose properties. Now this box that appears is going to be a little bit daunting to you if you've never gone in and tried to do any editing within like a Visual Basic Editor for uh, Microsoft or those type of things. But basically these are all the properties for that text box that we just created over there. And it's really not all that um, hard or complex. If you just read what the actual titles are here, you can generally come up with what you want it to do. So for example here we have um, if I come on down the uh, first column here to down to font, we'll see that the default is Arial. I can change that font. I can make it, uh, let's say, I'm going to go for Times New Roman, let's say. And then we'll choose bold, and we want it to be, let's say, 28 point. And I'll click OK. So now when we're in presentation mode and we type in here, we should see Times New Roman bold about 28 point. And I'm just going to close this box now and go into presentation mode so you can see how that's going to work. So here I am in presentation mode now, and you can see there's my box. And I'm going to click in there, and now I should be typing in... 28 point bold and it's Times New Roman. You can see here I'm able to type on this screen and the interesting thing about this is, is when I exit presentation mode I'm just going to hit the escape key on the keyboard. I'm now able to see it's still there. It locks in that text to that box until I come back here. So just to give you some examples of other things you can do with this I'm going to create another text box by just clicking the text box up there and dragging out a new one. And in this one, I'm going to right click and choose properties. And we're just going to come down and we're going to uh, find where it says um, we have a back color. You can notice here it's white by default, back color. I can pull down and you can see here we have system, but right beside that is another tab for palette. And if you'll click palette, it'll get to look much more like something you're used to. And I'm going to just choose to make this gray. Now we have a gray background here. Now the font is still Arial in this case. I'm going to actually choose to make it something a little different again here. I'm going to let's just choose some bold, oblique, and we'll make this 24 also. And we'll click OK again.
The last thing I'm going to do here is we're going to actually change the font color and this is a little different because instead of looking for font color which you might actually think you'd look for the words for color are right here for color and again it defaults to white or black and I'm going to come in here and again we may be on the system tab but I'm going to choose the palette and then I'm going to for this example since we've got a gray background I'll just choose something like a green something very different and now we have a gray background with a dark kind of a gray border and then we've got a font color of green and this Bell MT font here just to show you how this is going to work I'm going to close the properties box go to slideshow menu and begin to show my show from the beginning and now you see we have hello still up here I have that again we can type hello again um, but I'm gonna come down here into this box and now this one should be green as you can see we have this kind of a greenish color now what can you do with these type of things when I use them in games a lot of times what I'll do is actually use them as like counters so I'm going to slip to another slide here and in this slide you can see this is a slide from what's Louis thinking about today we have the ability here for team one to receive a score for team two to receive points and this gives you the ability to go away from this screen come back to it and those points still be there so that when I step away from this screen and then come back they're still there so that's a really nice thing when you're playing a game to be able to keep score with for example and that's basically how you can insert text onto an active presentation in a PowerPoint